In this video, I'm going to show you how you can electronically submit your OSHA 300A forms online using OSHA's new injury tracking application. Just a note that this video is not intended to be any kind of legal advice, so please make sure that you're aware of all the requirements for your company in regards to what OSHA documents need to be filled out, submitted, and the data that's submitted in those forms. When we talk about OSHA 300 forms, we're talking about the log of work-related injuries and illnesses that OSHA requires you to keep throughout the year. They provide a template that allows you to keep track of the name of the worker and the type of injury or illness, as well as the number of days away from work, etc. Once you've completed that log and you've got all of the data for your entire year, you're going to fill out an OSHA 300A summary of work-related injuries and illnesses. And it's this form that is now able to be submitted online through OSHA's new injury tracking application tool. To find this tool, we're going to go to OSHA.gov slash injury reporting. Here you're going to see a bunch of information on whether your company is required to submit electronically or not, and the various due dates depending on your context. There are also some helpful links and guides that give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the tool. Okay, so let's say you're ready to submit your information electronically online. Click on Launch ITA, and you're going to be asked to log in. For this video, I'm actually going to log in to a testing environment provided by OSHA. You can see the notice here that indicates this is, you know, sort of a fake testing environment that allows you to try the tool without actually making a submission. So I'm going to close that and click on Login. Once you log in, you can see that OSHA's actually given you the four steps you need for submitting your data. So step one is to create an establishment. Step two is to add your 300 day summary data. Then step three is to submit it. And step four is to review a confirmation email. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with step one and we're gonna create an establishment. This is really simple to do. You can click on the create establishment button and it's gonna take you to a page where you can fill in the information about your establishment. So I'm going to fill in the information about my establishment with some sample data. In order to get to the NAICS code, you can start typing in a code if you know what it is, or you can go to census.gov to look it up. You'll notice that once you start typing in your code, a bunch of options show up for you to pick from. So here you could pick a specific one. Before submitting the information, just note that you actually only need the numbers. You want to finish the rest of the form by indicating the number of employees and whether it's a public sector, and then click on save. Now that I've created my establishment, I can go back to my establishment list to open it up and view it. There's a couple ways you can get back to that establishment list, either through the navigation menu on the right here, or you can actually do that by just clicking establishment list. So now I can see that I've got one establishment on my list. Of course, if you've got multiple establishments, they'd all be listed here. But in this case, we've just created one so far. You can see beside this establishment name that my 300 day status is not added. So let's go ahead and add that information. I'll click on the name Site Docs Eastern Office to open it up. And you can see that I've got an easy button to click here to add my 300 day summary. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now I just need to fill in the information about the various totals, including the totals from my OSHA 300 log. If you have any questions about the fields, you can hover your mouse over the info icon and OSHA provides some helpful information and examples to help you know what data to put in. So I've gone ahead and calculated all the totals and filled in the fields for my 300 day summary. Once I'm done, I can click on save and now my data has been saved. Now that my data has been saved, I can quickly review it to check for errors. And when I'm ready, I'm going to click on submit 300A data. Again, for this video, we're using just a testing environment. So none of this data is actually going to OSHA. So I'll click on submit. And you can see that we get a confirmation that it was successfully submitted to OSHA. If we go back to our establishment list using the main menu, I can see that my 300A status is now submitted which is great. We know that it worked and we can check our email for a confirmation as well. A second way that you can both create establishments and submit data is through the CSV upload. To do that, you're going to click on upload a batch file. And here you're going to see instructions about both how to fill it out, the CSV template that you need to use, and even a sample CSV with some sample data, just in case you want to reference it. So let's download the sample CSV and open it in a spreadsheet application. It could be Microsoft Excel. In this case, I'm going to use Google Sheets online. So I open up the sample and I can take a quick look at how they filled it out. I can see that there's establishment names if I have multiple establishments, including their information and codes. 
And then as I scroll over and I look at the different columns, I can see that they've calculated the average number of workers, total hours worked, and then the number of injuries, deaths, days away from work cases, etc. In terms of calculating these totals, you could go through your paperwork and find your OSHA 300 logs and then manually calculate all of the entries and information there. However, you can save yourself a bunch of time by using something like SiteDoc Safety Management Software. This allows you to record each of your OSHA 300 incidents in a digital format right from the mobile app. All of the data is then collected and available for you to see online. So for example, I could see a variety of incident logs here, and then I can export all the data and answers from those forms into a spreadsheet. And it would look something like this, where I've got all the information from each of the forms that were filled out. This can be really helpful in a situation where you've just got a lot of incidents and it's a lot of work to actually calculate all the information. Let's say I've had something more like 25 incidents in a year. I can actually select an entire row here, insert a chart, and I could just hover my mouse over any of these bars and I've automatically calculated that of all the incidents I had, 13 of them were injuries or two of them were related to poisoning. Once you have the data in a spreadsheet, you can find that information in a couple clicks. So you can take all of these answers, go back to your CSV template and just type in the information. Once you're done, you're gonna to wanna to export this to a CSV and then head back to your OSHA website. Here's where you're gonna actually locate and select the file that you wanna upload, which is your new CSV. So I'm gonna click on choose file and select the CSV that I exported. Next, I just have to click on upload and now my CSV with all of the summary data is uploaded to OSHA. Now that I've uploaded my CSV, when I look at the establishment list, I can see the various establishments that were in that CSV file, the store numbers one, two, and three. And if I wanted to, I could click on any of those to actually view the submission data. In this case, I could click on store number one and just ensure that the data is correct. So that's how you use the injury tracking application to electronically submit your 300A forms. Just to recap, you can create your establishment and add your 300A summary data just manually by inputting each of the numbers into each of the fields, or you can download a CSV template, fill in your CSV file, and then upload it to the site, and it will be automatically submitted for you. A third really exciting option that I wanna mention quickly is that OSHA has opened up an API endpoint for software companies like SiteDocs to integrate our safety management tool right into the OSHA submission process. That means that your OSHA 300A form could be automatically submitted for you at the end of the year right from site docs. Now that the API is available, our development team is looking at various options on how we can integrate it and we're hoping to have it available as soon as possible. In closing, this new regulation from OSHA requiring electronic submission is just one of the many ways that we can see technology enhancing safety processes. If you'd like to learn more about how you can make the transition from a paper-based safety to a digital solution like SiteDocs safety management software, check out sitedocs.com and request a free online demo.